So here I am replacing the wooden comb on a Honer 26010 hole chromonica. You remove the covers by uh, unscrewing these guys on either side, and then you want to take off the cover supports, which sometimes you can use your fingers, but it's probably easier with pliers. Uh, they just pull right out. And by the way, this is the same process for a Honer 270 or 280 with a wooden comb. So now you remove the mouth piece, which uh, these two screws, and you want to make sure you also hold on to the little plastic grommets that are on the inside, the, the spacers. Um, you want to put those back in when you're done. Make sure you remember the order, and there is an up and down to at least a couple of the pieces. So keep that in mind when you do this. Um, and now uh, let's remove the spring. And to remove the spring, first you've got to push that pin out that holds the spring in place. I just used a little tiny screwdriver and pushed it through, and then using pliers or your fingers, pull the spring out. Now to remove the reed plates, you take a sharp knife, doesn't have to be that sharp, and you just pry off very carefully not to lose the little nails. And here's the broken comb coming off, and make sure you keep track of which reed plate is which and what's the top and the bottom. Now here's the replacement wooden comb that was ordered. Um, I'm not even sure where the wooden comb came from. It, it, the person whose harmonica I'm fixing here ordered it and handed it over to me. So first thing is uh, putting these reed plates back on. You want to make sure the front is as flush as you can get it with the wood comb. That is where the mouthpiece would be. And then, of course, the sides and the back. Uh, silly me putting the camera on the same table where I'm hammering, which is why it's vibrating. Now, putting these nails back in can be a little tricky without the reed plate moving. I usually do the first few just with my finger. I push them in to hold them in place, then I tap it down with the hammer. But it might be easier once you get it going to use pliers to hold the little tiny nails in place and then tap them in. And doing this side is a little easier because you don't have anything on the other side of the wooden comb yet. So you can kind of just use the table you're working on, whatever works for you. But uh, be very careful not to actually hammer, accidentally hammer the reeds or the valves on top of the reeds. Now the other side... Uh, same deal, make sure it's lined up right, but uh, and getting it started, you can kind of push in and just tap whatever, but then you want to be careful. And here I'm using the broken wooden comb as a support underneath so that I'm not just pounding the reeds on the bottom into the table. I'm kind of angling the wooden comb so that it's only supporting behind where I'm hammering and not touching the reeds. Once you get a couple nails in, go ahead and put that spring back in uh, just to make sure things are working. So you push that spring in, make sure the the springy part is on the far edge and then tap in the um, metal rod that holds the spring in place. I, I think I, I tapped it in here on one side. It didn't work as well. So I took it out and then tried it from the other side and it was easier. So here I am pulling it out. I guess I could have edited this out of the this process. And now I'm putting it on the other side, tapping it in, and this time it's going to actually work. Spring is easily in place. It works. Good. Now I can continue putting those nails back on this reed plate. By the way, I sped this whole video up just because who wants to watch an hour and a half, which is actually how long it took me to do this, uh, and now it's six minutes for your convenience. But you can always pause or rewind, right? So here we're adding the rest of the nails to that side, and so both plates are now on, and it's nice and flush. Uh, go ahead and put the supports back on, and this might be easier with pliers again. The cover supports that is and, and they, there is a front and a back and you tap them in make sure they're kind of straight you can then use the pliers of your fingers to bend them if they're a little crooked and by the way at any point once you get these reed plates on you can always put the harmonica to your mouth even like this if you're able to get a nice uh airflow without your lips touching the valves or the reeds and just make sure there's the reeds are moving and they're not bouncing into the wooden comb or there's not huge air loss happening somewhere of course, make sure that your reed plates are as flush to the wooden comb as possible. You want it to be as airtight as you can get it. Now all four cover supports are on. The spring's in. Both reed plates are on. Just a little more tweaking with these cover supports. And then we're ready to put the covers back on. And so make sure there is a top cover and a bottom cover. And you want to make sure that the cover, the front of it, where your mouth would go, is going in that slot, in that groove on the reed plates. If it hangs over the edge, the mouth pieces are not going to go on right. If it's too far back, it's going to touch the reed, so make sure it's exactly in the right spot. Doing this sort of work on a harmonica is not for everybody. It is definitely tricky. Um, you can see I'm even struggling myself getting these covers on. I actually worked for Honer for a couple years, which is how I learned how to do this. 
So here the covers are on, and now it's time to put the mouthpiece back together. I'm just doing one little final touch. So mouthpiece, you've got these uh, various pieces. First you put the flat one on, and I usually like to clean as I go just to make sure uh, alcohol and a little um, lint-free rag. So I put the flat piece on, and then I put the uh, slide mechanism on top of that, the actual slide with button. Uh, oh, check this out. I'm putting toothpicks and breaking them off into the holes where the screws went, just to make it a little tighter, because those have gotten loose over the years. Flat piece goes on. Now the slide with um, the handle goes on, and make sure it gets on that pin for the spring. Now the top flat piece, which curves around and holds those pieces together. And then finally, the very top mouthpiece. You'll notice the mouthpiece is, in fact, a little concave, and that's important. Uh, when you put the screws in, you want to make sure that you kind of go a little bit on both sides at a time and keep testing and checking to make sure things are sliding right and things are not crooked. Um, and ultimately, I'll eventually tighten it down to the point where the slide cannot even move. And then I know, and I check and make sure it's tight, and then I'll back off just a touch on both screws. And then it's ready to go, and we're done. This is a working harmonica. I'm testing it, and boom.